what they failed to tell you. When they armed you with swords and Bible verses and sent you out into the world with hands full of charity and hopes as high as the Tower of Babel, is that saving the world is a very difficult thing to do. There is no substitute for divinity, but oh, you tried. You laid awake in the middle of the night, holding every hand you could reach, promising that God was still watching, still waiting. You waited for him to show up. Sometimes he did. But sometimes he stood you up and you sat at a table for hours in your best dress, convinced he was still coming, convinced there was some sort of mistake. You had the wrong place, but he never came. And you walked home alone. And when God finally made himself known, you barely recognized him. You could only dream of the father you once knew, so you rationed the last of him from Sunday morning, tried to make him last all week, but by Friday night, you ran out of reasons to keep believing. So you replaced belief with the bottom of bottles you did not recognize. Faces you can no longer place in a crowd. Sunsets that seemed more beautiful than he did. Anything to make you forget he never came. Or maybe he never left. What they failed to tell you when they tasked you with bearing the good news to a world you thought was destined for destruction is that most of the time you will need saving and he will send someone else. Most of the time, your saviors will not look anything like you, and most of the time, love does not look like a sledgehammer. Love sometimes sits silently on a bar stool. Love is not the ability to prove everyone else wrong, and just because you can doesn't mean you should. What they fail to tell you is that being right is not the same as being good. Being right is not the way, the truth, and the life, and being wrong cannot make him leave you, I promise. He was never gone. So follow me, all prodigal daughters and sons. We are not the worst things we have ever done. We are not our doubts. We are loved ones. Held fast in the hand of the one who loves. Who loves. Who loves. Who loves.